So this is what's happening with the corporate citizen playbook. I had put out that this wasn't going to be done until the end of July. Uh, that was wrong. I'm going to get that done at the end of May. So the price is going to go up and I want you to see what's in there. We've got a lot of stuff in there. We've got some power days. We got some other stuff in there. The S corp S corporation formation and guidance, my hidden holding company and this right here, corporate banking, your holding company, banking, holding company accounts, setting up your operational bank accounts, the $100,000 loan hack for your starter business, the American express credit hack. These are things that you cannot find on YouTube. They're nowhere where to be seen. And I'm going to tell you why you can't find them on YouTube because I'm a technician. I'm out here doing this in real life. I'm doing this for real. So this is some information that you can't get anywhere else. And it can be literally life changing for a lot of people. So you you're getting this information and I'm telling you that this course is going to be done no later than May 31st, maybe the first, and it's going to be done. And we got a lot of stuff to go in. So what you want to do is go in, go into the description or go to the comment section. And what you want to do is go ahead and get in this course today using promo code jump J U M P, which will get you a massive discount and set you in the position to get everything else that I am getting ready to create as we go down this pathway of making people corporate citizens and getting to that $250,000 per year annual income. That's the goal. That's what we're working on. And there's so many things that are going to come this year that are literally going to blow your mind. So what you want to do is get in. Like I said, it's going to be done much sooner than July. <laughs> it's in that we're not even going to make it to June. And then June, we will be doing how to make a lot of money with YouTube. So go ahead, get in the course, get the lessons, because there's a lot of things for you to start working on at the moment. What's going on, guys? Today, we're going to have a conversation. We're going to talk about what holds so many people back in life. And I'm going to call it the big fear. Um, this is something that is really, really common with a lot of people. Other day, I put out that I'm going to start rewarding YouTube content or comments on my channel. And I had a lot of people in there and they were like, you know, they were trying to stack it. Like, let me just, let's just go ahead and say this. I am not going to put all of my channels or you can go just comment all the channels. So essentially, this is a way to engage content, to engage commentary in what I'm doing. So I'm not going to put up uh, this is all my channels and just go here. I'm not I'm not going to do that. Um, but I saw a lot of people. And once again, um, when I put that the videos out because, uh, you know, yesterday was a holiday. Um, I didn't have huge expectations for this thing. I was like, I'm going to put it out because, you know, with the channel reset, with the, um, resetting of the content and the resetting of myself, I am not looking for fast, immediate results. I'm just not because I know better. And this thing pretty much, it just kind of oozed out a little bit. A lot of people weren't interested in it. And this is one of the things, um, the big fear that keeps people from trying to do new and unique things because they don't know how it's going to work out. They just simply don't. And I'm looking at this because Fortunately for me, I have a lot of experience with starting stuff and sticking with it, like making money A to Z with self storage unit units, self storage unit, uh, self storage unit auctions. 
Um, the first week that book was selling, I made $650 first week. In that first month, I think I did like 20, 20 to 2000 or 2200. It did not. And this, this book went on to make me a million dollars. It did not start off fast. It did not start off great. And you know, let, let's speak about that. I was so enthralled, wrapped up in the fact that I wrote a book that people were spending money for. I was in that Lola phase. So I didn't even realize, cause like it, it, it just, uh, it was like, I wrote a book, people are buying it. That's exciting. That, that's really, really exciting for a first time author. That was just so exciting that week after week, people were buying my book. So, but now I have the framework to look back. Didn't start off that high. I, I made like $62,000 my first year. And then I made more my second year and I made way more my third year. So I'm used to things not starting off splendid and exciting. I'm used to that. And I don't think that the average person is aware that when you start something, typically the beginning's going to be rocky. It's just going to be rocky. And one of the things that I have noticed is that people are very, 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 very fearful to get started with something that they have no assurances of how this thing is going to work out. I started my blog, uh, urbanpackrat.com. I didn't know what's going to happen. I wrote my book, Making Money A to Z with self storage Auctions. Didn't know what's going to happen. I started this YouTube channel. I had no clue what's going to happen. I started many, many different things and I had no clue to what was going to happen. I started a car rental business that was really, really crappy, really, really crappy. Um, it has taken me way longer to get out the car rental business. Well, I'm out the car rental business. I'm no longer renting cars. It's the selling of the cars that has been the big issue. And I'm down to three cars left. And I started that business. I had some wishes I thought could happen that we didn't even get close to that. We didn't even get close to that. So I am really capable of starting something, sticking with it until I get to a point. Cause you know, I got a whole little process where I, I do things and uh, I got a process where I worked through some things and it worked really, really well for me. But the average person, because you know, I, right now there's this thing with Etsy and using AI to create digital products for Etsy. And people are, you know, I think I misconstructed the information. Because I was like, why is, because literally you could do a video with the title Etsy and AI and digital art or print on demand and using Etsy and mid journaling the creature designs. And a lot of people are running over there. And I thought it was the promise of easy money. That's not it. That's not why people are running over there. It's the promise of being able to start for free in many cases or to be able to start with very, very low income input. You can start, go over to Etsy. I think it's 20 cents to list some for four months. Um, it's very, very cheap to get into the Etsy digital marketplace. I mean, in many cases, it's almost free if you develop the skill sets to create the products. That's the thing that's pulling people over there because if you don't have to spend a lot of money and the way that these videos read, you don't have to spend a lot of time. 
that if you go ahead and do something in the digital product market with Etsy and it doesn't work, you don't have a big L. You don't have a big L because you don't really have to do that much to get into that business. And that, that was the thing I was missing because I see, you know, fear. I see a lot of fear, like, you know, with me, like with this um, comments on uh, the channels. Uh, this is something that I'm gonna do. And once again, it didn't start off blazing or there wasn't a lot of excitement. There wasn't people. I actually created a video talking about what I was gonna do and upload to all channels. And the video went straight to 10. It went to 10, nine out of 10 and eight out of 10. Which means that a lot of people just were not interested in doing that. And once again, I've been there before. What am I gonna have to do? Number one, and th this is one of the things that kills so many people who want to become business owners, the marketing. I put out that video. That was the first thing. Okay. Then I'm gonna put out another video. Then I'm gonna, I gotta find the best way to promote this, to talk about it because, you know, uh, it, it's just gonna be a process of figuring out what form of marketing works. Because I know right now, uh, putting something in the comment section, that works to a degree. But unless people know they need to look in the comment section, you know, and I can't like load up the videos with a bunch of marketing. You can't do this like, I remember, God, I can't even think of his name but it worked for him because the first five minutes of his show was to his marketing stuff and his shows were getting views. So people sat through all of that. And you know, one of the things I've been doing, I've been testing, um, putting my ad at the beginning of the video and I've got to, I got to work on that. Um, you know, essentially I have put them up there and I put an ad at a video at the beginning of a video and the video got like a thousand views in less than 24 hours, which was really good in light of the reset and all this other stuff. I was like, oh, that, that actually worked. So I, once again, I just gotta do a better job of everything I'm trying to do. And this is gonna come from trial and error. This is gonna come from me trying to do something. This is gonna come from me uh, setting up some stuff. This is going to come from me actually doing and setting up. Because once again, uh, I have wisdom and insight about business and doing things. And I just know from personal experience that typically the beginning it's usually not that exciting. You you could you could have told me, and you know, going back to my book and look, look, let's have this conversation. I was so excited to write a book and have people buy it. That was my world for like the first two years. It was just like I wrote this book and people are buying it. I mean, I didn't. I was so excited, and maybe that excitement is what carried me because, and I was making. You know, well, also knowledge. Let, let's kind of kind of go back. Uh, if you don't know this, I used to hang around a ton of writers. And I noticed one of the things, and some of these writers were brilliant writers, brilliant writers. And the majority of them had jobs because they couldn't make enough money off their writing. And even though I wasn't making crazy money the first year, I made enough money it enabled me to stay home from my writing. So that that really sets, you know, because knowing, I knew how publishing deals worked. I knew how book deals worked. I knew that essentially you sell your book to the publisher, the publisher may give you a big advance. And once your advance is earned through the sales of your book, then you start to get royalties. I knew how all that worked. And, so that, that was another reason I was so excited. I was really, really excited. I was just, um, 
over the moon excited with the things that were happening with the publishing of the book, the YouTube. When I started the blog, I started three blogs, passionatefriday.com, business credit mentor, urbanpackrat.com. Um, business credit mentor, I thought that was going to be the one. That was the first one that I stopped working on because it just, it was hard to work on it. In Passionate Friday, I could work on that, but I wasn't really making no money. And Urban Pack Rat attached to the YouTube channel, I was making money. So this whole thing is, and I, I wanna just have this, just tell you this right now. If you're working on something, stay with it. Because the beginning is gonna be rocky, it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be slow. Just, just stay with it. Just stay with it because uh, I feel that so many people give up because they're expecting this instantaneous success. And 99% of the time, it's just not like that. I was watching this video of uh, this guy who's a billionaire. It was on, I can see his face, can't even think of his name, but uh, he said, something that in the conversation he said we almost went bankrupt several times and this guy's like 78 years old billionaire and this is the movements that people go through to become successful 78 year old billionaire and he, he said and you know, um, the guy asked him, he's like, you remember the day you became a billionaire? That's like, I don't remember that. And I can tell you that when you're working on something and you have these financial milestones, typically you are unaware that it happened. You may go home and look at your records like, oh, today I became a millionaire. And the next day you're gonna get up and go back to work. And the, this whole thing, this is why so many people are stuck because that, that rough period, because you know, uh, I have no one to blame but myself for my current rough period because I did it. And you know, that, that's another reason it's easier to uh, swallow because I, I intentionally did the, the stuff that landed me in the uh, situation that I have had to reside in. So I can't blame anybody except me. And one of the things that I look at is, you know, if you notice, I don't do whining on this channel. I don't do pity parties. You know, essentially I take the things that I have and I work on them to the best of my ability. And that's one of the things, like once again, I'm talking to you. If you're working on something, keep working on it. Just keep working on it because, um, once again, when I wrote that book, it was an exciting time. And I wrote and I did this YouTube channel and I had the blog. Those were, they were exciting because I, it was all new. This was all new to me making pure digital money. And that, that's what I really, really, that literally changed me because, um, I don't think that is, unless it's the right situation, it's gotta be the right situation. It would be really, really hard to get me back into a physical product business. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible because if the right situation came along, I can do it. But, you know, I was watching another video of a guy who started the e-commerce store and the beginning was rocky. You know, wasn't making sales, he was spending ad money. And then um, first month, he got it up to where he was doing like 5,000 per day, which after expenses was like $1,600 profit, $1,600 profit a day. That's $8,000 per week. That's um, $32,000 per month profit. This is above ad cost cost of goods that he did that in 30 days that was but the beginning the beginning was just terrible and it, it's just 
you know, so many people get stuck. So many people get uh, weighed down by that beginning phase, that beginning process. And, you know, I was doing some more research and I noticed one of my um, favorite little pets on YouTube, she deleted a lot of her older videos. And I, once again, because I've been watching her and I'm not mentioning any names, but I know why she deleted those videos because her, her videos were going down. And she got rid of all the videos that were sucking and then she started to put up some better videos and now her channel is going more in a positive direction. And, you know, it's just, you know, that's another prime example. In the beginning, it was rough. She just kept at it. She kept at it, kept at it. I mean, what this girl makes off of YouTube, which I would estimate to be about twenty dollars to $30,000 a month. And this is not her only thing. She's got other things she's working on. Um, you know, the beginning was rough for her. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand because you know i was looking at the comments because you know i i see people people are very very judgmental and it was like i have never seen him do anything like this and you know i'm gonna win you know there, there's a group of people who are really excited because you know um because this thing is going to cost me uh, about 300 bucks per week it's going to cost me $1,200 per month. Not a, not a problem. And I'm going to do it. And what's going to happen as we get into, because this is the beginning. And the beginning always sucks. And once we really start to get into it, because the thing that's going to do it, and this is one of the things, is the winners, because I can run these promos with the winners. And once I start to, you know, people say, oh, he actually giving that money out for real? And the comments will just literally explode. But in the beginning, they ain't a lot gonna happen in the beginning. But once they get the promos, I would say about two months in is when this thing will take off because it's a really good idea. Um, and I do have some people who leave some outstanding comments. I've got people who will sit down and I can tell these people who watch the whole video and some of these comments are going to take 15, 20 minutes to write. And that's really, really impressive. So I'm just like going to start rewarding those people who take the time to watch the video, leave a comment that's in line with the video. And we're, we're, I'm just like, because, you know, once again, I want to say thank you. Uh, the comment section is been cleaned up. Um, I've gone like, almost three weeks without a crazy comment. And at one point I was getting like one or two per week, which is down from 35 to 40 per day. So the comment section is gonna get much cleaner. It's gonna be much more involved in the future. And that's what I'm talking about in, in, in the future, you know, because a lot of people look at what I do from a topical standpoint and they don't really look at the long train line of stuff because uh, I remember when I was selling that book and I started selling that book for 19 bucks. And this is one of the reasons that I don't get on the phone with people because I talked to a guy for not one hour, not two, but three hours. And guess what? He still didn't buy that $19 book after talking to me for three hours. You know, um, that, that, that's one of the craziest things that I've ever seen. And, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. It is May 30th. If you're not into the corporate citizen playbook, because this, this is going to be a busy day because I got, I got a lot of things I got to do. I got a lot of things I need to set up. This is going to be a very, very busy, busy day. Um, Right now, we, we, we've got the holding company section set up and the corporate banking set up and the marketing set up. Now we're in the sales process and then we're gonna wrap it up with branding your company. Um, 
you want to get in now because what's going to happen and I, I can tell you what's going to happen i am going to actually create some different offers and it, i'm really really excited about this and i'm waiting to see if this thing happens because i'm going to do some it's kind of risky well it's not really risky um but yeah i'm getting ready to start rewarding the loyal, the intellectual, the nerd tribe, the people who support me. I'm just getting ready to start rewarding them. So I'm telling you, you're gonna to wanna to get in to the Corporate Citizen Playbook because there's a big offer coming next month. Because I, I just have a feeling, I just have a feeling this offer will still be in effect because I'm just waiting to see what happens because um, uh, I'll discuss this uh, in June because um, we're getting ready to do some stuff. We're getting ready to um, do some things that are really, really different. Really, really different. So and the, today is the 30th and you have today and tomorrow to get in. And the price is going up and I've heard people, don't raise the price, give me like another month. You know, um, I am sorry your money's not correct. That's a tough place to be in. So you have my well wishes on that. But I cannot hold up my business waiting on people to get their money together. Because here's the thing. If I was to do that, I would say 80 to 90% of the people who are begging me not to raise the price will never buy. <laughs> they still wouldn't buy. So. That, that's how I look at it, you know, that's how I look at it. Because, you know, uh, once again, this thing's gotta go on. We, we've got a deadline, we've got stuff, we got program, we got things we're getting ready to work on. And uh, next month is going to be fun when we get into how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. That's gonna literally blow your mind. So if you want that, you need to go ahead and get in the Corporate Citizen program right now and what's going to happen is you will get how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. And that's going to be very, very different because they're, they're, I got a lot of opinions that are based upon fact and experience that will be in that course. So just to let you know, my name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video. The link to the Corporate Citizen Playbook is in the description and Later on, it should be in the comment section because this video is going to air itself early in the morning and I'll still be asleep. So once again, look for it in the description and we'll see you guys in the next one. What's going on guys? This was something that I was going to start doing in June, but you know what? I'm going to start doing it now. I am going to introduce a new program and what I'm going to do is pick the best comment of the week and I'm going to reward the YouTube viewer with a hundred dollars um, I'm thinking about cash app I think that's going to be the best way to do it so what is the best comment now I know some of you like to leave these one word comments that that's not going to work uh, I would want at least three to four sentences, almost a paragraph. Uh, there are some of you who leave really, really good comments, really, really good comments. So number one, you got to leave the best comment. And because this thing, I read all my comments, whether I respond or not, I read them all. So this is one of the objectives that I'm getting ready to do. And it's going to start this week. So. We're going to let the week roll from seven days. So next Monday, we will announce the winner of the comments. Now, here's something else, too. Um, if you're in the comment contest and you, you win, you must be willing to do a video talking about that. Hey, I got $100 from leaving the best comment. If you don't want to do a video, if you want to be one of these 
anonymous people, um, you're not going to be able to participate in this contest because this is one of the biggest issues I have. Um, some of my best clients. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be. So once again, if you want to enter into the best comment contest, you just leave the best comment and I will contact you. Now I'm going to contact you within 24 hours. If I don't hear from you, I'm going to move to the second best content because I know a lot of people are really, really terrible with follow-up or getting back to folks or I'll get back to him like eight days from now. That, that ain't going to work either. So number one, you must be an active subscriber. Number two, you must leave the best comment. And you can leave a comment on any video. You can leave a comment on an older video. It, it doesn't matter. It's just going to be the best comment of the week. Now, this is going to be a mainstay. This is something that I've been thinking about. So I'm going to leave this. And, you know, if you're the best commenter four times in a row, that's 400 bucks in a month for just leaving a comment on a YouTube video. And we're, we're going to get into more and more promotion and other things. So this is one of the things, and this, this is, this, oh, this is per channel. Um, this comment is this, it's not gonna be just for this channel. I'm going to put this video on all of my channels. So the best comment per channel, once again, you must be subscribed. You must leave a, a good comment. Once again, it cannot be a one word comment. That, that's just not gonna work. And also, it would be really, really helpful for you to watch the video. <laughs> I know, I know I'm, I'm like, because if you watch the video and you leave a comment that contains elements of the video, that's going to definitely improve your chances of leaving the best comment. This is definitely going to make your entry into the best comment contest much more better and much more available. So that's what's going on. Starting the day, the best comment, or if you're like a serious commenter and you leave a comment, I can see this happening with some of my commenters where they'll leave a comment on this channel, they'll leave a comment on Mad Money, and they'll leave a comment on that Strong Concane and we can get somebody who can actually win all three channels and take home 300 bucks for the week. So this is the, this is the policy that's going on. Once again, um, you must be subscribed. You must be um, watch the video. You must be willing to come on social media saying, hey, and I'm going to ask you to film a video talking about, hey, I won the best comment that's going to be part of it. If you don't want to do that, there's no point in you trying to enter and you got to watch the video. So this kicks off today and next Monday, I am going to identify the winners of the best comment for all of my channels. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be real interesting. So you have your instructions and this is going to run seven days because that's how YouTube works. So, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this, and I will see you guys in the next video.